Oh la la, I am late for lunch. I am soaking wet. It cannot get much worse than this. Zut alors! Oh no! Not only am I late for lunch, but I have lost Doucette's favorite umbrella. When it rains, it pours. And then you lose your wife's umbrella. and he is not supposed to shout. Georges, it is not nice to tattle on others. Now go play with your brothers and sisters. Anatole! Brr. The streets are treacherous. Only a duck would venture out in this weather, and even then, only with a good raincoat. Mm. Bad news. I lost your favorite umbrella. Good news. You are back home with your family, safe and sound. Pirates of peril! <laughs> Come on, Chloe. Yeah. Put the book away and play with us. I am only three chapters away from the end of The Mouse Who Would Be King. I cannot stop now. Finish it later. Grab a sword and... Whoops! Whoa! <clears throat> what happened? The lamp broke. Yes, George. I know the lamp broke, but I want to know who is responsible. A noble mouse always admits to his or her mistakes. And my children are noble mice, are they not? It was Poe. <laughs> he broke the lamp. Georgette, what did I tell you about tattling? Nobody likes a tattletale. Now let's clean up this mess. I've prepared a wonderful lunch. Cheese bourguignon and... Ew! Banana mash! It's so slimy! And slippery! Papa, the lettuce fit in the plant banana mash. Georgette, what did your mother tell you about tattling? Nobody likes a tattletale. And as for Paulette, I believe she has finished sharing with the plant and needs another helping. to the nearest puddle. Are you gonna help us or what? Yes, but not by pushing. I have a better idea. Mama, may I have the rest of the banana mash, please? Have as much as you like, Claude. Well, at least someone enjoyed your banana mash. Hmm? Besides me, of course. <laughs> I was reading gave me this idea, except that in the book, it is not a boat, but a cart that has lost its wheels. And it was not banana mash they used, but grease. Here is some for later, in case you need more. Claude, you are a genius. We need a clever pirate like you on our crew. But I have not finished reading my book. Adventure first, reading late. Be careful! Papa said the streets are treacherous! Don't worry! We're not going anywhere near the streets! Come on, Chloe! Allons-y! I want to play Pirates of Peril, too! No tattletales on our ship! Pirates away! Too fast. Yeah. Mama, Papa. 
Hi. Paul, Paulette, and Claude, Wendell, and... Georgette? How many times must I tell you? I don't want you tattling on your brothers and sisters. But... Georgette? to be young and adventurous. Look at them go, riding the waves like real pirates, headed <gasps> right for the sewer. <laughs> Gaston! I didn't know you'd taken up jogging. I am not jogging. I am trying to rescue Anatole's children. Look! Quickly, Pierre! You're faster than me! Save them! <laughs> Fly, Pierre! Fly! But you know flying makes me dizzy! I am afraid of heights! For the children, Pierre! Fly! Oh. Wow! Oh. I'll recover. <sighs> we are too late, Pierre. Too late. performance. It was horrible! <gasps> terrible! Come, come, mon ami. I will admit I have played better, but to call my concerto terrible... I'm not talking about your piano concerto. I'm talking about Paul, Paulette, and Claude. They are in grave danger. 
Our children? In grave danger? They were playing pirates, sailing along the gutter when... Gaston is tattling. Gaston is not tattling. He's telling us that Paul, Paulette, and Claude are in danger. Then why was it tattling when I tried to tell you? We made a mistake, Georgette. And for that, we are sorry. But there is a big difference between tattling on someone and telling grown-ups when someone is in danger. Tattling gets someone into trouble. Telling when there is danger helps get someone out of trouble. You see? Oui, maman. What happened to them? They were swept down a sewer. I fear these sewer currents will carry them out into the river Seine, where they will be swept away. The river? Gaston, I need you to get some rope. And then we must hurry to the library and look up the old sewer maps. We have to catch them quickly. If they end up in the river Seine, we will be too late to save them. If I had wanted to be an acrobat, I would have joined the circus. Claude, get back! What are you doing? The mouse who would be king. Jack Dury. Yeah! <laughs> no! I must read that book someday. What are we doing at the library? I thought we were saving the children. We will, but first we must find out exactly what route they are taking. The city's old sewer maps will let us know. According to this map of the sewer system, if the children fell in here, they will follow this route, which means they will be passing points here and here before reaching the river here. If we move quickly, we can intercept them, but we cannot get there on foot. We need a faster means of transportation. We will have to fly. Can we get an airline ticket on such short notice? Oh! Oh? Flying thing! Watch out! Down there! Down there! Ah! Whoa! If I have calculated correctly, they should be passing us any second now. Paul! Paulette! Claude! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <gasps> that sounded like Papa! Children! Are you there? We're here! Where are you? There! Grab the rope! We're here! <coughs> Got him! It's the rat! Look out! He's back! They have the rope! Keep pulling! Almost there! Almost! Suddenly, this isn't such a good idea! Quick! Before he gets on board! No! 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 We have them! Who are you? I am Edgar. Who are you? I am Anatole, and these are my friends, Gaston and Pierre. We are trying to rescue three young mice lost in the sewers. I am also trying to save those very same mice, but I'm not having much luck. Do not trust him, Anatole. He is a rat. And a right proper rat at that. You have my word. I was trying to save the children, not harm them. Then for that, we are thankful, monsieur. Children! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Father? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It looks like our ship has finally come in. Ah, <laughs> I will never go 
Help Mama's banana mash again! Too bad for you we don't mind getting our feet dirty. Claude, another chapter of the mouse who would be king? Maybe I should write my own book. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. We're not done with you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I do not trust him. Not one bit. This is no time for arguing. We now have only one more chance to save the children. And we have lost a rope. There must be some other way to catch them. Catch them? Of course. Catch them just like a fisherman in a net. Pierre, you are brilliant. I am? Yeah. Papa, will he ever find us? What's that? It sounds like running water. It's the way out. The way out. We're, We're safe. safe. We're safe. Yay. Quickly, Pierre. They have almost reached the river. I'm sorry, Anatole. I have failed you. Nonsense, Pierre. You have done your duty. Now it is time for me to do mine. There, a sewer entrance. I know the sewer system like the back of my paw. I can lead you through a shortcut to head them off. Hurry! This way! This way! Ooh. Quickly! Almost there! Almost there! Ooh. Almost there! Almost there! Yippee! Just up ahead! is a friend. He was trying to rescue you all along. You were trying to save us? And I might have saved you sooner if you weren't so, well, clever. Well, what have we here? Doucette's last umbrella. What luck. Aha! We've got you at last. We are going to teach you a lesson about visiting our sewer. Deal with their kind all the time. Well done, mon ami. A happy ending. Just like in the book. So you see, tattling gets someone into trouble. Telling gets someone out of trouble. I do see. Well, I've certainly learned a valuable lesson today. We have all learned a valuable lesson today about friendship, trust, and most important of all, working together and using our heads to solve a problem. Hear, hear. Hear, hear. I hope you enjoy the meal, Edgar. It's a family specialty. Banana mash. Magnifi! <laughs> 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 